Welcome back to my channel, and sorry for the weird angle. I'm sitting on my couch because I'm chilling right now. I'm chilling. But anyway, today I want to talk about being legally blind and albinism and how it goes together. And just to say, I definitely don't want to be labeled as the albino girl or make it seem like albinism. Um, defines me as a person because it doesn't it is a part of me it is it is what makes me who i am but at the same time it's not it doesn't define me as a person what defines me as a person is other things like op me being open-minded me being easygoing me being independent stuff like that that i feel i'd rather someone define me as those kind of things than the albino girl you know so, um, I'm not gonna make a lot of videos about albinism, but I do know that I have some al um, people with albinism that subscribe to me, so I want to relate to those people, but at the same time, I'm not gonna make tons of videos about albinism because it doesn't define me as a person, and I'm not gonna put myself in that box, you know? But this is about being legally blind, and how I deal with it, and little tricks that I do and I don't have anything written down, so I'm just kind of going to speak um, randomly. But yeah, I'm legally blind. And I know when you say, when I say that to people, they're like freaked out. They're like, so how blind are you? Can you see anything? Yes, I can see. Like for me, I see perfectly fine because this is how my vision has been all my life, you know. But when it comes to like seeing things from a distance, that's where I have a problem. So, like, um, seeing people's faces from far away, like, when, in, like, if I'm going to meet someone at a restaurant, my dog is scratching at my shoes because I was by another dog, and the dog pissed on my shoes, so he's having a heyday, so if you hear that, I'm sorry, but, yeah, like, if I'm going to a restaurant and there's people already there that I'm supposed to meet, I'm like, oh my god, like, I need them to come meet me at the door because... It's hard for me to pick them out from a whole group of people, like, yeah. So that's a that's the thing. If you're meeting someone out, you should probably tell them to come meet you at the door. And like people that are my close friends, like my best friend, she already knows. Like she'll read me stuff like the menu on, um, like before I go to restaurants, I always like to look up the menu on my phone so I'm not like struggling to see. Or it's not even like I'm struggling to see, it's like I just can't see. So I'm not even gonna try to look up there. So I look I look up the menu on my phone. Usually all restaurants have the menus on the phone. And this helps me out because when I get there, I'm just like, yeah, I want this. So it looks like I know what I'm talking about. I'm just not just looking up, glaring at a bunch of squiggly lines on a board because honestly, I can't see the menus unless they're really big. I fucking love the restaurants that have the big print because I'm like, wow, they're looking out for people who can't see like me. But yeah, um, but or if you have like good friends, like they'll or like family, they'll read you off the menu. Like people that know me, like I was saying before, like they read me off the menu or the I'll be like, can you, what do they have? And they'll let me know. So that's one thing that I do that can help you. Also, public transportation. A lot of people hate public transportation. They think it's dirty, so many germs, but honestly, you can't get away from germs. And I, when I lived in Bloom, um, when I was in college, I used public transportation all the time. Never had a problem with it. People are usually nice on there, um, on the bus. I use the bus. Also, I Uber. I fucking love, like, Ubering is so fun because, okay, that sounds weird, it's so fun, but, like, honestly, I have the best conversations in Uber rides, like, they're awesome, and there's a lot of people out there that don't have visual impairments that always make an excuse as to why they can't get somewhere. Yes, I can understand if you can't get somewhere because you have no money, but also, there's never an excuse because you can always take the bus, you can ride a bike, you can Uber, so don't ever be afraid for public transportation. That, that's why it's there. If you're in a bigger city, you probably don't have that um, that problem because everyone uses public transportation. 
but like in a smaller city like where I live everyone's like ah public transportation is like the freaking plague but you know you gotta get to where you gotta get and you can't let other people's opinions or anything stop you so yeah public transportation also um on my phone or on any iPhone I'm pretty sure it's on any phone because like it's just kind of a common thing there's a zoom option so like obviously um you can zoom on a phone like I'm about to just show you a quick example and I would do the screen recording thing but okay let me find a website so here for instance as you can see you can just zoom by going like that but also some websites you can't zoom like that so you double tap with three fingers and then it has a zoom option and you can zoom in on anything so that's another thing that I do but it is hard I'm not gonna say that it's not hard to be legally blind and I know that there's people out there with way worse problems than me I get it and that's one of the reasons why I never get too down on myself sometimes I have those days where I just feel like crying because I feel like because there's certain jobs out there that I literally cannot do because I can't see that far so yeah I try not to get that down on myself because I know there's people out there with it worse than me I know that I'm qualified it's just that sometimes I need some accommodations and don't ever be afraid to ask for help if you need help because my whole life I always shied away from getting help because I always wanted to prove that I can do whatever anyone else can do but you know it's not even about that sometimes sometimes it's just like there's people willing to help so let them help you um yeah I just it's like I see the world differently than most people and it's crazy and it's cool and it's strange and it's all these different things and it's not like something that is a secret about me but i'm definitely just don't run around saying yeah i'm legally blind like screaming it at the top of my lungs line also i feel like it's very important that you communicate your disability to people that you see potential relationships with or have relationships with because you can ruin relationships by not being open so sometimes when someone is coming by me but like they're not super close but they're by me and they're saying abriel or some people call me abby like abriel abby and i'm just like like i don't know like i can't like i can't always see people so like if i'm gonna start communicating better with like people that i have relationships with or i see a relationship like a friendship happening with i need to communicate that like hey if you see me in public you're gonna have to come up to me like in my face and say hi and don't just say my name from a distance because i'm not gonna be able to see you because there's been plenty of times where this has happened and i just ignore it because i can't see and i'm pretty sure people are like wow what a bitch but i'm not being a bitch i just can't fucking see and like if i just i'm just gonna start waving my hand up in the air like yeah like wherever you are hi hi yeah i need you to come up to me so if you're watching this and you know me and you ever see me in public just know you gotta come up to me in my face and say hi because if you don't eight times out of ten i'm not gonna see you and i'm not gonna acknowledge it because it's just how i am yeah i don't really have that much else to say I guess I gave you like three tips that I do public transportation always looking up menus before you go to restaurants and the zoom option on phone so that's great and also wear your glasses I know I should practice what I preach and actually I wear my glasses way more than most people know it's just like when I take pictures or I'm recording or if I'm going out I don't wear my glasses most of the time but I'm mostly at home and I'm always wearing my glasses at home so that's good but yeah don't let disability stop you from doing anything there's no excuses in the world like yes i'm legally blind but i still can do hella shit i could do 
most of everything that everyone else can do. Sometimes I just need a little bit more accommodation. But I swear, once I get a hold of whatever I'm doing, I don't need no help. And my disability don't mean sh Don't mean shit because I am the shit. You are the shit. You just have to to not hold yourself back because honestly that's all that is holding you back is yourself if you let a disability stop you because like i said there's someone out there with no eyes there's someone out there that can't see at all like i always say oh i can't see but honestly i can see so i need to stop saying i can't see you know so yeah thank you so much for watching subscribe um but yeah i'll be back with another video soon stay tuned like i've been saying stay tuned my Instagram, my Snapchat will be in the description bar. Follow me. Add me. Say hi to me. Bye, guys.